That's a copse they were looking big now. <sighs> I just come down a track there from the top of that hill I was on the top of and you, I could have walked past and round um, and I could have come for a walk round like that it would have been nice really but uh, I'm not doing that today There's a lot of bees around, and I've noticed a beehive. You know, a bee, actual beehive, and some beehives in that little bit there. Little cluster of beehives, man-made ones. Yeah, maybe I should have just gone down and come round that, but that would have been nice, you know. I haven't got the energy to go along there, I don't think, and then back round again. Not really, no. I was put off by a bloke. I don't know what it was. He, kept, he was hovering for a long, long time. I stopped way before I got there. And he, he kept looking over to me, you know, and I just thought, he could be lost, I don't know, but I just thought he did too. There was this young couple, and I sort of walked sort of a couple of yards, more, well, several yards behind them when they, when they visited it. And then I just moved away yeah something that'll keep for another time there's so many walks there so many walks that you can do Shil I can hear the steam train coming from Minehead and watch it it's like a whistle blowing every now and again it goes Woo! I don't expect it it might have picked it up on the camera. It'd be coming along, I think it even stops near West Bagbury, you know. Steam train, and it actually goes from Taunton. I've seen the station, it's not right in Taunton though. It's not the main station. Oh, there are sheep. I just thought possibly they might be deer. Most of the walks you're, you're viewing now with me, I've done before, by the way. But they're little bits, like doing that that large hill and walking round it. You know what I mean? That would have been quite a nice little... Which I well, had thought about doing, but like I said, I... I think I'm just feeling a bit tired, actually. <laughs> so I'm just doing a plodding walk today. Plodding walk. I had to get up so early. I only got two hours sleep, just in case I overslept and missed the train. That always happens to me if I know I'm going out for a big day. But it won't be a big day, although I have been on... I would be walking for six hours soon. So it's quite a big walk, really. And if I thought about doing any more, I would have been mad, really. Because that would have put a hell of a lot of pressure on me now. You imagine I'd made myself only just making my way out of um, Delborough Hill for it. You know, that's a big, sweet round for me to have done. You know? And it would have put pressure on me coming up through Holford. Now, there's no need for it, you know, you've got... You won't get to that bus till about three o'clock, and that's just right to come home then after quite a big day. You start, don't forget, you're starting about two hours earlier than you normally do. Right? Just to avoid the traffic and the herds. Some people will be coming out this afternoon as the sun comes out. People will start emerging here. It's <sighs> lovely the heather though, isn't it? The heather and the gorse mixed. The heather and the gorse and the wild grass. And the ferns. Lovely bouquet. Is 
lovely bouquet. We're spoilt with colour and prettiness as we walk along. And look at the, the landscapes of the quilts of Somerset are emerging now. The sun's out. At last. At last the sun is coming out, folks. Yeah, we can keep that hill for another time. It will keep. The thing is, I'm coming up for 70. I see a lot of people that look older than me out. So I reckon I've got a good 10 years of proper hiking, I think. I don't know. I've definitely slowed up. I used to be fast walker. Um, but you know, not to worry, Sheila. You can't, you can't worry about everything. Over and out. Oh, so every now and again you get a lovely big patch of blue, look. It does make a difference. Yeah, it's a long, long way over now where I was earlier, climbing on the top. Where I was earlier was, let me show you. And of course I walked beyond that, the other side of that, don't forget. Yeah, right over there. It was right up there. As I withdraw, you'll see how far away that is. It's quite a long way, actually. Quite a long way, and I've walked all that this morning. And more. So I think I've done quite well. I must think that I've done alright, you know. I mean, it's because I don't come over here very much. I try to fit a lot in. But really, I've already done such a lot. And I had to go uphill up hills. What I'm doing now, Big Nola will be down there somewhere. I'm going to join up with its track a bit later on and come down that coombe, Big Nola coombe. And it will be very calm because the wind is from the northeast. If I was up over there now, I'd feel that breeze. You know, I'd feel it. I mean, there's probably another way down, but I don't want to though. I want to go on that, that track that I follow. So I'm just plodding. I've got so much time. I don't have to rush. And as soon as I hit that coombe, and I know I'm going down it, I will have my cheese and tomato at some point. And my packet of crisps. And my Ribena. That's my treat. That's my treat. I'm actually still climbing. I was right up on top of that hill a while ago. I come down it. Then I take a gradual slope round. I climb up again a bit further. So I can get some nice views. Get some nice views. It's, and it's quiet here, isn't it? Most people, if they're new to the hills as well, they tend to keep to the main tracks. It's easier if they're going to get lost. Um, I've seen solo cycle, cyclists and a couple of solo walkers like me. Um, we are very much hermits. Uh, we keep our space. It's interesting really, isn't it? Right, there's my Ned, Butlins. It's the big hill. Walk over that to Poor Lock. Blue sky's definitely coming out now, folks. Now that's the end of my walk. Lots of blue sky now. I can hear somebody coming. I was just a bit of videoing. Had to change the memory card then. The battery will probably go as well next. I 
I might not be as far up as I thought, you know. There's a big ship moored up, look. They sometimes do that and then they can go into Minehead on a smaller boat. Go to the seaside resort, Minehead. Just have another look back at that. The hills back there. Getting further and further away now. Anyway, I'm not sure if my coombe is close or not, to tell the truth. <laughs> I might have to go over that next hill. I can't remember to tell you the truth, I really can't. I can't remember seeing that field. It doesn't matter if I have got um, further to go than I thought. I haven't done it for a long time, don't forget this. So I'm not really quite sure. I'm playing it by ear. Playing it by ear. All I know is uh, this is a way round to Bicknoller Post, I think. Yeah, it could be that I've got to go over another section yet. Could be. Bicknoller might be down there. I might not gone far enough around. There's big trees there. It's further than I thought, I think. This is the longer way round, probably, what I'm doing, rather than keeping to the main track up the top. I've swooped round, but I don't mind. Or it could be the coombs there. This is where I'll probably make a bit of an error. What I might have to do is go up onto the top there and see if I can see Bicknoller Post. Because it could be that... That's the coom going down now. I'm not sure. I've only done this walk this way probably once. So things do look different when you haven't done it. And that was several years ago. So I'm not quite sure if that's a bit nuller. Coom there. Might not be, see? I don't recognise those trees and that field. Could be I haven't gone far enough over yet. It's quite likely, actually. I might have to go up. As soon as I've seen Bit Noller Post, I'll know where I am. No, because what I should be seeing is um, the trick point of the Beacon Hill coming into view. It could be that I haven't gone far enough yet. Unless that's the coombe down there. We can't go down it just in case it's not. Might not be big Nolacoom. See, I'm not bringing a map or anything. I'm going on memory. Going on memory. I should really be putting, um, suntan lotion on shouldn't I now when I stop in a minute I might put a little bit on on my nose and that yeah I might have to carry on at the moment and go back get up on the main track for a bit if I remember rightly yeah this was a quite a long way round yeah quite a long way round I've got a feeling I've got to go over that way more because they talk about the rings now if I, if I zoom into that field you can see like a ring look see like a ring in that field that's sort of some ancient structure can I still keep hearing people talking though right I'm going to take some photos of over